Level Best Grading Boxes are industry standards for achieving precision grades. This video will guide you through the eight steps necessary to set up and benchmark your Level Best Grading Box. Step one is to connect the laser control panel. You wire this to the laser receiver junction block, the hydraulic valve controller, the operator remote controller, and the battery. There are four cables to connect in this step. First, connect the controller to the cable junction block for the laser receivers. Then connect the valve cable that controls slope and elevation hydraulics. The connectors and cables are clearly marked slope and elevation. Next, connect the operator remote control unit to the control panel. This box allows the operator to choose auto or manual operation to raise or lower, as well as tilt the blade left or right. Finally, connect the 12 volt power cable to the control panel and to the battery. The red wire is positive, the black wire is ground. Always connect the ground last to avoid unwanted voltage surges or electric arcs that might damage the control unit. Step two involves installing the laser control panel onto the mounting bracket. Once installed, turn the unit on and enter the proper settings for the job. You can operate each side independently or link them together. In step three, you'll mount the laser receivers on the mass and connect them to the junction block. Be careful to route the coiled cables so they are not pinched or in the way. Left and right are clearly marked on the junction block. Step four involves setting up the laser beacon. Be sure it is in a safe, out of the way location and that it has a clear line of sight to the receivers on the grading box. Turn it on and enter grade dimensions for X and Y slopes. Step five establishes the required finished grade height. Install the grade eye onto the grade rod and adjust it so it reads on grade when the bottom of the grade rod is at the required finish grade height. Step six sets the cutting edge to the finish grade height. Move the grading box to a place on the site that is to be graded. Using the laser established height of the grade rod, adjust the cutting edge of the grading box blade to the height of the finished grade. Compensate for compaction if needed. Step seven, adjust the laser receivers on the mast poles. Adjust the center receiver up or down so that it reads on grade and tighten it to the mast pole. Using a tape measure, measure the distance from the bottom of the grading box cutting edge to the bottom of the center receiver. Adjust the right receiver so that it is the same distance from the bottom of the cutting edge as the center receiver. Step eight, start grading a small area. Then stop to check with the grade eye that the required level is being achieved. If so, continue grading, periodically stopping to check the grade, making sure nothing has changed. Step nine, if needed, if the required level is incorrect, make proper adjustments to the receiver heights. Grade another small area and recheck with the grade eye until the proper finished grade level is achieved. There you have it. Your level best grading box is now properly benched.